All right, uh, back to the journal of Deanna Jackson Stinson. Um, the battery dies, so I'm continuing on with her book. And like I said, there's a lot of writing here. Um, anyway, like I was saying before, uh, we're going to go see Annabelle today, which is a sequel to The Conjuring. When the Warrens found a haunted doll that was causing all kinds of mischief in a family's home, they took the doll. And a lot of people don't realize it, but the doll was actually a Raggedy Ann doll. And they encased it. And in the first movie, The Conjuring, you're able to see a doll, which is not a Raggedy Ann doll, encased. And it's a cursed doll that the Warrens had. And we're going to see the fictional story of Annabelle. And that's the way Hollywood does things. So they'll base something on a true story. And if they have any kind of sequels to it, it's all just fiction after that. So... It's, sometimes there's a thin line between the truth and fiction. And some people, you might wonder what I'm saying, if it's true or not, but um, there's a lot of cases like that. Um, with Machine Gun Kelly, uh, he had a very unique name and the journalists ran with it. They were accusing him of all kinds of crimes. When he went to prison, he says, I didn't do all those crimes. And the reason why he was accused of them, because he had a cool name. So the journalist would always throw his name in there, being associated with some major crime. When he, The only thing he ever did was really rob a liquor store. But he became a legend just because of his name. I guess that's the way of the world. You know, what's kind of unique is that journalists, they create legends. So, a lot of times with their writings, um, things will take a life of its own and continue on even after their death and becomes legendary. So it's very important to have writers. And as you can see, Dion does a lot of writing. A lot of writing. She's really into dreams, so. Oh, here's a drawing that she did. Huh, interesting. She dreams a lot about her family. And that's the inner end of the journal of Diana Jackson Stinson.